that is incredibly dangerous. One, because I wasn't eating, I wasn't keeping any nutrition down. I'm, my uh -huh. electrolytes are low, I'm dehydrated, I'm dizzy, I'm sick. I have a chronic illness that's making it worse. And then in addition to that, the acid can cause ulcers in your stomach, it can cause stomach bleeding, but then also it can cause your esophagus to tear. And then if then would happens, you have to have a trach? Well, here's the thing is if that happens, if it actually tears yeah. and ruptures, you will bleed out within about 10 to 20 minutes. Oh, wow. You'll drown on your own blood. Like, it's not fun. And... With that being said... So, just let me finish. So, that's just some of the medical consequences. The other ones are infertility, osteoporosis at age 30. I want to have you know, your, your full... Liver problems. Um, I want to have your full like, medical history and your situation. And um, the prognosis from your best doctors and then what i'd like to do is sit down and talk with you and see out of everything going on what i have to offer as a healer and then get to work healing. I, would, I would be more interested in you helping me with my mast cell disease but my eating disorder is mental illness and that is very much my tied to my trauma and yeah i let's get some I, mdma some night and talk about it no i can't do mdma that why would give me a heart attack what Really? Drugs are bad for me. Oh. They okay. are really, really bad for me. I'll make sure to keep them away from you then. I do them because I'm self-destructive and I'm suicidal right now. <sighs> okay. I don't care. I do them because I'm I like... I'm doing them because I don't care about it. I'm doing them because they make me a better person. And because they make me feel anything but what I'm feeling. You feel guilty, huh? Yes. Because you're letting yourself down. Because I'm hurting myself. You're not like having stage fright if someone found out you did drugs before no, in your life. I literally or... know this to be a fact that this is not healthy for me. Me staying up all night, having a terrible sleep schedule, not having a routine. I hear, know, I hear a couple things then, really, really not, over. Not your sleep cycle needs to be um, regulated, and you you could use prompting for I meals. Do, but when I do drugs, that does not happen. What does I not mean, happen? I, I don't eat and I don't sleep. When you do drugs, you don't eat and you don't sleep? Correct. Oh, yeah. It's not healthy. Exactly. For me. Even okay. No, weed is not. Weed is my medicine. Weed isn't a drug. Shrooms are fine. Acid, even, sure. But like. We got some acid on the way. Stimulant? Yeah. That is poison to my body. What do you mean it's poison to your body? What does it. Well, for one thing. Oh, because it was. Bad for my mast cell disease, but for, like, honestly, the more uh -huh. dangerous thing is. <clears throat> It is encouraging to my eating disorder. Oh, it my also eating disorder loves that I've been doing this. Right, because because I don't get hungry and I don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. And then I can go and I can keep going and I can keep going. Normally, after a day of not eating or even half a day of not eating, I would be passing out. I've known people that have to eat like eighteen times a day to yeah, just keep from passing that's, out. That's what I will have to do if I'm not. And passing so, out can be no fun when you're walking. Yeah, I mean, you'd fall but, over and bang like, your face. Maybe it would be okay if I didn't have an eating disorder. But the thing is, is that it, it you know, I used to abuse laxatives. I used to abuse diet pills. I used to abuse oh, bronchi just because I wanted to not eat. I wanted to lose weight. And, and that's because that's what I focus on to cover up my trauma. It's a control thing. It's a, it's a self-destructive thing. It's a... It's a self-hatred thing and maybe even a self-punishment thing. Those are pretty big archetypes. All, so all different that's archetypes. That's trauma-related to me. You know, like my Did you have disorder. a major trauma event or has it been... I've had multiple major trauma events. Okay, so we're looking at... And they were concurrent, like, one after another there, you know. See, I, mean, and I guess, yeah. That's probably so easy There's to say happened in like <coughs> years, but i don't really know about that i haven't uncovered but i just know was your there. child abuse physical or sexual or emotional or all or so both i had a sexual trauma from a classmate for about a year and a half when i was in like third to fourth grade oh wow and then um, someone sexually abused you in third grade it was a classmate who was a, a couple cla years older than me. A classmate older than you. So he was in, he would have been like sixth grade age, but he was held back two years, so he was in my class. Okay. Uh, and so it started for me and for him too, I guess. He would have 
age-wise been in fifth grade, but he mm-hmm. was in, still in third grade, and I was in third grade, so I was like nine, ten, nine. What's up? And uh, you want to hear what might happened for like a year? And a half. Hey, I'm saying this, talking. but 